Leon S. Kennedy saves America in Resident Evil 4 and he's going to save us again. We're here to talk about the attack on American values and entertainment, the attack on truth in America. Just a sneak peek into the beautiful virtual reality world we're diving into in Resident Evil 4 VR. And these are the best sniper rifle mechanics ever in any video game. I'm telling you, leave a comment if you disagree. How we can take back the power to control content at home. How Leon S. Kennedy can help end wokeness in gaming. All while breaking the hardcore virtual reality gaming market. The white gamers not all talk. I already have content made. You can check it out. It's the best virtual reality promotional content in the world. More importantly, I have a bunch of unreleased content I'm going to show you some clips of while I tell you all of the different ways we're going to take Leon into the future. If you already game, I'm going to teach you how to game better. If you already game virtual, we can still have fun. And I'm going to talk to you about role playing inside the headset, make the most out of these games and make a play session a therapy session. But I also have content for the non-gamers because Leon is for more people and virtual reality gaming specifically is therapeutic and for more people. I want to bring it to greater America. I'm basically trying to be a virtual reality activist. But I really think virtual reality is therapy for more people and I want to become a... A vert I want to become a virtual reality activist. That's why I'm on here. Let's do it, boys and girls, people. And I think these things could be in hospitals, high schools. We have to talk about the Pavlov military shooter on here. I'm making the headset the new gang set. I'm doing content for the brothers as well, even seniors. All featuring Leon as an introduction to virtual reality technology. But anyway. What matters here, what matters now, are the clips I'm about to show you. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you think Leon is the greatest character in gaming history and help me get virtual reality therapy to greater America. Leon is also bringing us the news that matters to help save the brains of our gamers while giving people new entertainment who are trying to escape how overpriced and unsafe Biden reality is. And want to join the America First virtual reality gaming revolution to help our gamers out. Gaming is really not just for nerds and gamers, it's for you, it's for your wallet, and people who want the smack of home entertainment. My first unreleased Leon video is showing off how virtual reality is really amazing, how the technology is amazing with the PlayStation VR 2, and how switching to virtual reality, I still do game flat screen. Used to game too much flat screen, if you know what I mean. We'll talk about that, like, comment, subscribe. I've been gaming my whole life. I'm going to tell you why switching to virtual reality really helped me game better. And I also know it's therapy for more people who haven't gamed before. It's therapy on their mind. It's therapy on their wallet. It's a really great way to just check out a stressful, overpriced reality whenever you want from the comfort and safety of your own home. The haptic technology is insane. You can feel the tires and Gran Turismo vibrating in the controllers. When I talk about using Leon to end wokeness, we are updating a story to 2024 about which president's daughter he's saving in the game. Whoa, who's this handsome guy? What are all these uh, shorts that nobody watched? Let's check one of them out. Resident Evil 4, you save the president's daughter. The game in question of the day is in 2024. Whose daughter do you think Leon S. Kennedy, the greatest video game character of all time, is saving in there? I don't think it's Biden's daughter, so she can get sniffed again. We all know he's in there saving Trump's daughter, and I got a happy birthday for Leon gift for the Resident Evil. Hey, you guys can tell I'm having fun at least. I think I'm funny. Let me know what you think. Leave it in the comments. Like and subscribe while you're at it, please. It really helps. I really appreciate it. Support virtual reality. Support Leon SK. Support Donald Trump. Support America. Support getting therapy to new minds and new wallets. Saving the gamer brains. If you can't wait to find out, go back and look at some of my shorts for the uh, spoiler. So we'll just jump right into the next Leon video that I have made. I just have to release it. I need to figure out how to title and tag videos. My content's getting better and better, and I have awesome videos made. They're getting wasted because I don't know how to do YouTube yet. So I'm going to do some Resident Evil 4 content, hopefully get my channel on Resident Evil 4 stuff because I put out a bunch of different videos when I first started. doesn't matter. Here we go. Leon S. Kennedy, the secret is, is that the boss is actually a secret elitist, a propagandist. 
not that bad, but I'm being a little hard on the guy, but it's still, he deserves it too. So I'm gonna, I put him in as the boss. You'll see it when the video comes out, but here's a preview of the fight. I think the video is awesome. The, vid the videos are awesome, guys. Check it out. This, this bitch is up in my face. We're gonna do the Mendez boss fight. I did something special with the boss 2024 America. Things are crazy. Things are tense. I know you're feeling it. People are feeling it on their wall. That's why I'm trying to take people virtual, by the way. Virtual saves you money, saves your mind, and we can save American values inside the headset, inside the action. Let's jump into the Mendez boss. See who Leon's really taken down and how Leon not only saves America in the game, but he's gonna save America in real life gamer crap. leon in virtual reality is not just for the hardcore gamers he's for all gamers and leon's for greater america saving our culture we're saving america and leon's taking us into the future so we're taking things grow dark as we approach the time of the moon leon s kennedy and we will survive There's also ones on there about me taking the Gamer War virtual and attacking the value systems of woke entertainment organizations inside virtual reality, inside the headset, inside the action. I got a video about Disney, I got IGN, stuff like that. We're also talking about being more like the game characters in real life. We look up to strong, patriotic, all that stuff. Leon's a representation of a man gamers can look up to and try to be more like in real life. Leon is going to bring news and politics that matter to the gaming community to help people who need it to learn to love themselves and the country. Can we just take a second to acknowledge how good the guns sound when I'm unloading them, taking the clip out, putting it in, magazine, whatever, depends on the gun. This stuff stuff is awesome if you're a redneck and you haven't played Resident Evil 4 in virtual reality. Come on, people. Let's get with the program here. But yeah, this stuff is awesome. Most shooting games, by the way, have a button where they play an animation and automatically reloads the guns. I don't know if Resident Evil 4 has it. I would assume it does. I'm not sure to be so I gotta look it up. And help them understand why America needs to be saved. How we are under threat. Again, I have content made and posted. Go check it out. I'm not playing around with virtual reality. I'm playing around with a few different uh, <clears throat> virtual reality. Gaming is not for nerds. Gaming is for your wallet. I'm going to throw up some medieval nerd stuff. Maybe in this video, if not soon. I got the Dark Souls dance coming out. I'm playing around with a few different ideas. That is partially why I have to make this video. The Dark Souls dance is already out. It's my Alpha Gamer Rage thumbnail video. I'm in there fighting a big skeleton playing Alpha Nerd in the Legendary Tales game. It's awesome. I have so much good promotional content out. Go check out White Gamer Safe, Propaganda Breaker, Elon Musk's tweet in virtual reality, me versus Dark Brandon. I got so much stuff you just don't know about me yet. I haven't been. I'll get cycled on YouTube. More is coming. Check it out. The virtual reality's content's the best in the planet. Check it out. I really, I'm playing around with a few different ideas. That is partially why I have to make this. I need to learn to tag videos and title them so I don't waste the good content that I made. I want to learn how to get some circulation before I release them. If needed, I'll just, I'll just put them out and keep going. I'll make new ones. I'm really dedicated. I really believe in virtual reality. I really believe that it's for more people. I'm worried about the country and that love for America has fallen and many of our own citizens believe we are an evil place or that we are deserving of the world's problems. More government rule to combat ghost depressions that don't even exist. And just people saying yes please to more Biden lies and propaganda that the economy is good, crime is down, our border secure, it's really bad. And we're tired of the politicians, tired of the news reporters, so the white gamers coming in to talk to Americans, so please let me know what you think and how you feel. Leave a comment. We're doing a gamers against propaganda, gamers for Trump movement. I have Resident Evil videos planned to talk about Biden with the thumbnail President Evil. I have a bunch of content and ideas. I just need help and support with the videos. See how new people respond to virtual reality.
this is awesome, by the way, in virtual reality. It's like you're really looking through. It's right in your face. Everything's up in your face. Even if it's a flat screen person, tell, let me know if you think VR is worth it. If I make virtual reality more interesting, especially with the prices going on out there, having both options still might save you money long term. This stuff is cheap in 2024. I talk about pricing in uh, other videos. My white gamer save video, I'm going to talk about more in other videos. Check out my Elon Musk, it's actually happening tweet inside virtual reality and my dark Brandon versus the white gamer thumbnail video. If you don't think America's in trouble, check out my propaganda breaker, propaganda under military crossfire action on the PSVR 2 if you want to hear me getting really honest and talking about the economy. Check out my alpha gamer rage video. Check out my virtual revolution video, my green army men 2024 for the military action. I have the Pavlov tactical military shooter pop in, pop out. Also, that I use in my Gamers for Trump video. Check out my politics hit PSVR 2. Donald Trump and The Rock are on the thumbnail. I have a bunch of content up there just talking about virtual reality and talking about the state of America, introducing myself, and just talking about virtual reality, being able to make it so you can control content at home, and the difficulty we have in doing that with the companies that are pushing their ideology in our movies and in our TV shows. It's also in gaming, and I launched the Gamer War or I took the Gamer War virtual so I could be creative in my responses to these places and get more parents involved in virtual reality and get more flat screeners involved in virtual reality and make a point that we don't want this stuff and we want them to give us what the fans want and not pick and determine themselves what type of content will be in our entertainment. So like, comment, subscribe. Again, I really appreciate the support and it really helps. If you're interested in new therapy and you have questions, let me know. Leave it in the comments. I'm just one guy. I can only bring so much content, but I play tons of different games. I play the nerd games. I play the kids games. I absolutely love video games. I play everything. Don't be afraid to ask me about any of them. And new gamers, welcome. This is something that's cool to get into, I think, even later in life. I'm trying to break the stigma around video games. There's a lot of people that play, and some doctors already talk about video games maybe being good, being good for social skills and motor skills in small doses and when used the right way. And I don't know if anybody's ever talked to senior citizens about video games. So that's one of the markets I have specifically. And I'm also doing videos for the brothers and black teenagers making the headset, the new gang set. And I did a video. I don't know if I'm going to put it out. It's just I have so much stuff because I didn't finish the video where I was the white guy chauffeur. I was going to be talking about Diddy driving the uh, driving the older black ladies around as the white guy chauffeur, talking about uh, culture and hip-hop culture and stuff like that, and talking about Trump and the propaganda market on Biden. I'll be able to use clips from it. I'll find it because I think I'm funny. I think I'm funny in there. Again, guys, let me know what you let me know what you think. Leave in the comments. I'm trying to find creative ways to bring virtual reality to new people, and I'm also being myself on here, but I'm trying to find new ways to to get the tech to, to more people and market the hardware the right way and just really talk about what it can do for flat screeners. You go virtual, you gain better, you get active. This, this stuff is insane. Don't listen to the people that say Sony's not supporting it or there's not games on the hardware. There are absolutely games. We got this, we got Resident Evil 8, we got Gran Turismo. We have the Light Brigade. We have a bunch of horror that's out. Propagation Hotel is awesome. I got to use it. Oregon Quarter is awesome. The music's awesome. We got a bunch of horror coming out. Um, the roller coaster game Switchback ended up being pretty, pretty dope. I didn't play the first one. I didn't have the PSVR, the original, but I heard that was awesome. I, I have a feeling it might even been a little better. Or just like the new one was a little bit of a disappointment if you played the original, but still awesome. I had a blast with it. Uh, what else? I play the Pavlov game that I mentioned. I play that all the time. It's pop in, pop out. Sometimes I just go in there for 15 minutes once a night for one match. It changes my evening. It's the therapy that I need. What else do I have?
crossfire military action. There's there's so there's so many games. I honestly can't, the Hell Sweeper. I have Hell Sweeper Damn, videos up. Looks Demon like slaying guys. I'm gonna let the rest of this castle scene play out. Maybe I might cut it off. I'm not sure yet. But either way, stay tuned. We're saving America. We're saving our gamers. We're saving Donald Trump. We're making video games cool. We're saving new wallets. We're saving new minds. We're bringing virtual reality therapy to greater America. I have the crack content coming out. Go check out the stuff that's already out. It's crack as well. It's just gonna get better. Appreciate you guys. Check out the headset. Check out the action. Saving America, making video games cool in there, boys.